Barnes every day. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing very well. Thanks so much for having me. Well, thanks for joining us. Adam, tell me uh, a little bit about Adam Ruins Everything. I love that title. Oh, thank you. Well, it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek. Um, it's an informational comedy show, and on it I tell an unsuspecting person uh, the awful truth about everything that we take for granted in society. Like all those traditions that we've had sort of lying around that we never examine you know, closely enough and say, why do we still do it this way? Um, and like, I'll, I'll give you an example. Uh, the, our classic uh, bit is on the diamond engagement ring, right? That tradition is we think of it as a timeless symbol of love, right? You put the ring on the finger, and that's how you know, America Americans have been showing their love for centuries. It's actually, that tradition dates back just to the 1930s when the De Beers Diamond Corporation launched this massive advertising campaign um, because they wanted to sell more diamonds. So they planted the idea of the diamond engagement ring in magazines, movies, you know, newspapers. They said, this is a thing you got to do if you want to prove your love. And Americans bought it hook, line, and sinker. And then you know, nearly 100 years later, we've forgotten that that was the origin of it, and now we're still doing it today, and De Beers is still profiting off of it. It's like the greatest ad campaign in history, and almost nobody realizes that that's the case. That's very true. Okay, give me another one. That's fascinating, because this is uh, engagement season. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's it, it, it's intense, right? You know. Um, uh, let's see. Another example that we've been talking about is this is an episode that just aired. Um, you know, the tradition of summer vacation, right? Um, we assume that you know, hey, that's just American life, right? Like kids, you know, you go to school and then you get off from June through August, and that's uh, you know, classic uh, what kids do, right? Um, uh, and uh, but when we start to examine why do we do it that way, we quickly like find that there isn't really a good reason. People say that oh, it's so that kids could go work on a farm during the summer. That's not true. Farmers plant in the spring, they harvest in the fall. They don't they don't work in the summer. Um, and uh, it turns out the real reason that kids get summer break off is that about a hundred years ago in cities, classrooms would get unbearably hot during the summer, and so kids you know couldn't physically be in the school at that time. But today, we have air conditioning, right? So we don't need to stick to that schedule. And it turns out that uh, kids actually lose months of instruction every year. It's called the summer slide because they're just sitting around watching TV, you know? Especially lower income kids who don't, you know, they don't, can't afford to go to summer camp or do programs like that. They just end up, you know, sitting in their living rooms all, all summer, you know? So, um, you know, we're just like washing our hands of like these kids that should be learning. Um, and so when we, we uh, you know, critically examine these ideas and these traditions, we maybe think, oh, yeah, maybe we shouldn't do it that way. Okay, so are you saying that we can throw anything at Americans and we just pretty much buy it? <laughs> no, no, not at all. It's, it's not that. Um, it's that, you know, there are so many strange reasons that we believe what we believe, right? Sometimes it comes, uh, comes about because of like an ad campaign. Sometimes someone made a mistake long ago and we continue to have the idea. Sometimes it's because, you know, everyone, you know, there's an intuitive belief that we have that something works that it doesn't, you know? Um, uh, like a, like a, another classic example from the show is uh, uh, fingerprints, right? You've heard no two fingerprints are alike. That's not... Yes that's not strictly true. That's never been proven that no two fingerprints are alike. And in fact, a, uh, a, in, after the Madrid train bombing, a lawyer in Portland was arrested by the FBI, his name was Brandon Mayfield, because uh, they, they matched his fingerprint to a fingerprint in Madrid, right? And they said, well, this is a perfect match. Fingerprint matching is infallible, therefore it was him, right? But this guy had never even been to Spain. It wasn't him at all. His fingerprint was just a perfect match. And, you know, the best fingerprint analysts in the world, like, said, yes, it's a perfect match when, you know, it wasn't this guy at all. So it turns out that, you know, uh, uh, fingerprint matching, intuitively it seems to us, yes, it must be perfect and infallible, but in fact, fingerprint a a analysts make mistakes all the time, and the wrong person ends up getting sent to jail as a result. So do you have a team of people going out busting these myths, kind of like myth busters? <laughs> uh, yeah, we have, a, we have a team of comedy writers and researchers um, uh, on our show who, uh, you know, we get a room together, and these are all very well-read, you know, uh, people, and all of our scripts are fact-checked, um, and we cite all of our sources on screen. So any assertion I make up in the corner, it says, you know, hey, New York Times, December 12th, you know, 2008 or whatever. And then you, you can go check for yourself and see where we got the information. And if you think we're wrong, you know, you can send us an email and we'll uh, maybe respond to it in a future episode. Is this season one? This is a brand new show. This is a brand new show. Yep. We're in the middle of our first season. It's airing every Tuesday at 10 p.m. right now. 
well, finally, something with some substance for me to watch. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what we were hoping to give people. We're just trying to make a show that we would want to make. You know, we love to learn things, and we want to help, you know, uh, we want to give TV to people who like to learn. And, and luckily you, for us, a lot of people do. When do you want us to watch, Adam? Uh, it's every Tuesday at 10 p.m. on True TV. I will be there. I'm going to be your number one fan. I'll talk oh, with you soon. Oh, thank you so much. Please come back, especially when they renew you for season two. <laughs> oh, I would love to. Anytime. Thanks so much for Thank having you, me. Thank you, Adam. Pleasure talking You're to you. You're welcome.